Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is Tuesday, May 10th, 2022. Before I even get to this incredible piece of uh, news that you have to hear, I want to clarify something. It seems that some of you are confused on my stance as to where things are going to go. Uh, well, let's put it this way. This market will, will hit new all-time highs. Uh, there's absolutely no doubt about it. I know so many of you are absolutely convinced beyond your wildest imaginations and dreams or nightmares that we are now crashing. The market is crashing, despite the fact that I showed you a chart yesterday which uh, clearly demonstrates that we are nowhere near crashing with regard to the stock market here. Uh, as a matter of fact, and look this up for yourself, because I know you're going to have a hard time with this, some of you. We're still in a technical correction with regard to the S&P 500. We're not even in a bear market yet. Yes, the NASDAQ is in a bear market. But, look, people are running around here with their brains exploding, eyeballs popping out of their head, and I frankly don't understand it. Well, I guess I do. Non-professionals or people who are out here trying to make me look bad. Good luck with that. Okay. Uh, I've been down here for over a decade keeping everybody on the right side of this market. And I'm telling you, this is not a crash. Look at the 10-year yield this morning. We've come down. The big one is going to start in the debt market, people. One of those, another thing I have to repeat a gazillion times, okay? The stock market is a derivative as to what is happening in the debt market. In other words, the stock market derives value from what's happening in the debt market, Okay. What are we seeing now? The 10-year yield dropping. It's not spiking. <laughs> Should be clear to you. Obviously, it's never going to get through to some people's heads because they have, they've been brainwashed and convinced that it's something different. Good for you. Uh, maybe you should go watch those people instead of being here. Look, you don't like my style? You don't like my commentary? <laughs> See you later. There's no reason for you to be here. Please just go someplace else. All right, look. So the story this morning is pretty freaking epic. Uh, the Federal Reserve is warning of deteriorating liquidity conditions in the market. What does that sound like to you? If the Fed is saying, hey, you know what? Uh, what they're trying to do, obviously, is prop this market back up. Stock futures are higher across the board this morning. Okay, The Fed w is watching what is going on, and they're not done inflating. They're not done buying assets, period. So by the Federal Reserve saying that there are deteriorating liquidity conditions in the market, it's a setup for more easy money, period, the end, okay? Like I have been explaining for the past several months, this market is in a normal corrective phase, something you would imagine should happen in a market that's gone straight up for years, essentially, okay? You need a drop. And I'm not saying we're done here, but the market needs to drop before it can go higher. Pullbacks, corrections are bullish. You don't believe me? You don't believe me? Okay, let's see. I dare you to go, I don't know, go to bigcharts.com, okay, bigcharts.com, and you could set up your own little chart. Look at every time this market has pulled back or even crashed. What has happened? We go right back up and we hit record high, record high, record high. Um, since this market inception, it's gone higher, except for corrections and crashes, but we keep hitting new highs. And there's, a, there's so many bears out here right now. I don't know about you, but when, I, when people get bearish, I get bullish. When people get overly bullish, I get a little concerned. And right now, there are bears crawling out of the woodwork. Goldman Sachs, warning again. You got Morgan Stanley. Warning again, excuse me, <clears throat> got something in my throat here, but that's the situation. Uh, anyway, look, with that said, this is pretty profound to me that the Fed is warning of deteriorating liquidity conditions. Okay, get ready, bring it on. Um, more QE, it's coming. There's just no doubt about it. The Fed has one goal, that is to continue to inflate, to become the lender and buyer of the last resort, and continue to buy assets. And this, uh, this episode we're seeing in the market is a setup for for this market to go much higher okay crude oil 
much higher despite the fact that we had a pretty significant drop yesterday. WTI sitting at about 103. Uh, gold and silver right now catching a bit. Crypto catching a bit after they cryptos got hit pretty good too. You know my take on all these things, people. You can have your own opinion. I don't trade cryptos. I don't trade gold and silver either. I just think these things need to be in your portfolio. I think you all understand my perspective on this. Me, I will continue to doing what, do what I am doing, and that is buying stock in companies that I want to own for the long run until the debt market melts down, and we are nowhere near a debt market meltdown. Just gauging from the 10-year yield, just this morning, we have now fallen back under 3%. I mean, I think that's a pretty profound move from 3.14 oh, just over the last two days. That's cash going into the debt market, seeking some kind of safety. What do you think is going to happen, happen when that cash decides to come out of the debt market? It's going to go back into the equity market. Bam. Especially all for this. The Fed's setting this up. It's a setup, people. The Fed is setting up the groundwork right now to pump this market with more Heroin. Don't get caught, up, caught on the wrong side of this. Absolutely not. Anyway, so that's the situation this morning, okay? Uh, I, I, I was really honestly cracking up at some of the comments on my video from yesterday. Thanks for the entertainment from a lot of you out here who are, you know, Greg Manamino haters. And you want, look, I've been out here, like I said, for years. You want to try to uh, put me in a bad light? Good luck. Ain't happening. Okay, my subs keep growing and growing. So waste your time all you want, and uh, we'll see where this whole thing goes, you uh, people out here. I, I, don't know, I don't know where you're coming from here. It's, they're so jealous. It's too bad, because I want to help these people too. I really, really do. So in summary, real quick, this is it, in my view, this warning of deteriorating liquidity conditions. Uh, that means the Fed will be setting something up. And then today, we're going to hear from our illustrious brain dead president uh 11 30 p.m eastern standard time let's see what he does or says uh to with regard to this market and inflation it's going to be more lies understand the liar and chief here liar and chief is going to try to convince you that what you're seeing yet again is not real and that's the whole the whole thing that's what this is all about right now all right, so uh, stock futures higher right now, pointing towards uh, gains at the open. Fed setting up more, more easy money, no doubt about it in my view. Uh, market is not crashing, and I don't care what any of you have to say about it. I really don't care. Uh, you know my take on this, and you should be well-versed as of right now that it's gonna, the big one is going to start in the debt market, not the stock market. But I know how many of you got to focus on the stock market. I gotta focus on it. Oh, it's the stock market. Ah, ah. <laughs> it's not the stock market. It's the debt market. The driver here. Once you understand that, and it seems like I have to keep repeating myself, believable, uh, a lot of this is going to put your mind at ease. All right, so what else? That's it. I will see all of you at the end of the day. Please comment. I'll see all of you later. And it's going to be just as lovely as this morning. I'll see you later. See you later.